government has written to the British government over its intentions to pay back the £2.7 million which was meant for beneficiaries under the social cash transfer. However, the money remained unutilised in a Zanako bank account. Special Assistant to the President for Press and Public Relations, Emos Chanda, says Ministry of Community Development Permanent Secretary Liam Mutale has been in touch with the Department for International Development, DFID, over the matter. ZNBC staffer Michael Kaunga, uh, Kaumba reports from New York that Mr. Chanda said the Zambian government and their British counterparts have been in talks over their future joint financing agreement for the social cash transfer. And the Minister of uh, Community Development, Permanent Secretary Dr. Liam Tari, has since written to the DFID informing them of the process and the intention of the Zambian government to return 2.7 million pounds, which the British government funded to the uh, uh, social cash transfer. Uh, the refund is not Zambian government money, it's the actual money that the British government provided. And they have since demanded it, and, and the Zambian government has obliged. I can confirm also that uh, this matter, um, uh, the Honorable uh, Joseph Marang presented this uh, report to the British ministers yesterday when he held a bilateral meeting with them. I can confirm that this money, in fact, was in the uh, government account at Zambia National Commercial Bank. Once the proceedings, uh, the processes of refund are done, this money will be given. But within the bilateral framework, Zambia continues to engage with the British government uh, uh, on the future of their cooperation under the joint finance agreement under which they finance the social cash transfer. There are seven other dollars involved, but only uh, uh, the money from DFID, the British government, uh, is in the process of being refunded. But responding to a ZNBC press query, British High Commissioner to Zambia, Fergus Cochrane Day, said the UK government is working rapidly with the Zambian government to complete a range of forensic audits. Mr Cochrane Day said the, uh, the move follows the UK's decision to suspend funding immediately when allegations of the potential misuse of funds were made in June of 2018. He has clarified that only aid paid directly from the UK government to the Zambian government has been frozen. Mr. Cochrane Day says other aspects.